purported investment by Peter Obi is worth next to nothing. Governor Chukuma Soludo to Anambra State says. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. If you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. The Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo says that the purported investment by Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, is worth next to nothing. And this have got so many Nigerians talking. Waiting be your problem. Peter Obi no hand over government to you. Peter Obi handed over the government to um, Willie Obiano. So within that eight years, if Willie Obiano did not manage the investment way, something will happen. So don't just come and tell us that Peter Obi uh, multinational investment in Anambra State is worse to nothing because Peter Obi did not hand over government to you. Some people call the talk say Chukuma Soludo is obviously envious of Peter Obi, you know, right now. And that is why they are attacking him. Some also said that yeah, his hatred because Peter Obi left Abga to PDP and now from PDP to Labour Party. Their own be say how we should say Peter Obi now Abga Party now he did so. Or Peter Obi for not just go Labour Party, he would have come back to Abga. So, my people, confusion everywhere. Let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. Governor Chukuma Soludo of Anambra State has said that the purported investment by his presidential in office and the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi are worth next to nothing. Obi, who was the governor of the southeastern state from 2006 to 2014, had in an interview in 2018 said, he invested $20 million in international breweries on the behalf of Anambra State. Why in office? Anambra State is in the single, is the single, single led highest stakeholder in that facility. I invested in it over $20 million. It is worth almost $100 million today. That's, that is what government should do, he said during that interview. Speaking during an interview on Chinese television on Thursday night, November 10th, Soludo said he is not aware of any investment in the state by any of his predecessors. When asked, what he thinks about the government making investments outside public infrastructure, which, with particular reference to the investment made by Peter Obi, Soludo said, I don't know about that. I think there was something I read about somebody speculating about the value of whatever investment with what I have seen today. The value of those investments is worth next to nothing. So let's leave that aside. First of few all have gone got to rebuild. First, you have got, got to rebuild public infrastructure that is building for the future. We are investing in our schools, in agriculture, hospitals. We are investing in those who are creating Anambra as Africans leisure entertainment hub. That is what we are modernizing our cities. We are embarking on urban regeneration, giving our people life so that they can have equal hair to breathe, controlling pollution, dealing with flooding erosion that is ravaging everywhere. We are not going to leave those and say, I am going to save money. To say, I am going to go and invest in private company, the governor said. 
Speaking further, the former CBN governor said, investment is not about going to invest in bakery. That is not what the government is about. If the bakery goes down, investment goes down. Well, I don't understand Soludo. We need clarification for him. If the billions left behind have not been used since eight years plus, then something went wrong. If the money has not been used for subsequent governments and value whatever by reasons of the incompetence of the subsequent governments, who do you blame? If the millions of dollars left behind have been used by, by uh, the government that came after him, then the value of the dollars has actually reduced. What are you talking about? Okay. You have to understand him. It made so much sense. I watched the interview. He said, how can someone be saving money when there was so much to do? Hospitals are purely funded. Infrastructures are there. People are hungry. Roads are not motorable. Lack of water supply. Lack of power distributions. No transformations. State workers are poorly paid. And yet, someone said he is saving money. Soludo said he does not believe in saving money. When there are so much to be done, Ubi we signate Nigeria. Hmm. Stagnate, stagnate Nigeria. I believe that is what I want to say. Make life better for yourself. The saying goes thus that no person who ch we chop belefu feed the waste money. A lot was to be done for the people of Anambra State. That was not done. Instead, you were boasting of saving money in a bank that were you were the chairman. Conflicts of interest and investing in a company that couldn't have survived. Nothing bad in investing. Don't get me wrong. But if it goes right, you are commended. And if it goes wrong, you will be blamed. Okay. Obi will never be president of this country for anywhere. Hmm. Do you know that Obi made Anambra the most favorable road network in Nigeria? And that is correct. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your topic.